We're here at Huber's Orchard, Winery, and Vineyard. It's also the home to Starlight Distillery, which makes Indiana's only apple brandy. Today, we're gonna find out what exactly apple brandy is and how it's made. Let's go. We're here in the orchard with Dana, who is part of the Huber family. And Dana, this is a really exciting time at Huber's. Tell us all that's going on. It is. It's a great time of year. It's one of our favorite seasons. We have apple picking, pick your own pumpkins, caramel apples, spiced apple wine, and certainly that's what we're traditionally known for, both our farming and our winery here in southern Indiana. But not many people know all the great things we have to do here. Yes, it was like a fall wonderland when we drove in here. <laughs> and uh, people probably know Huber's for its wine. You guys make wonderful wine. But today we're here to talk about apple brandy, which is something that the Huber family has been distilling since 1840 when they settled on this very land that we're standing on right now. And all the apples in the apple brandy come from the Huber's Orchard. And so what can you tell us about the orchard? I, I can tell you it is all about tradition. These uh, two 80-acre tracks were originally settled by our ancestors. And of course they were growing apples. And so we proudly carry on that heritage by producing our apple brandy. We have about 15 different varieties of apples. Okay. And depending on the ones that are selected by our master distillers, will tell us what we'll have in our apple brandy. Okay, wonderful. And right now we're gonna head into the distillery and we're gonna see exactly how apple brandy's made. We're here with Jason, who is a distiller at Hewers. And Jason, I'm so curious how those apples that we saw in the orchard end up uh, as apple brandy. So can you take us through the process a little bit? Sure, the uh, apples are pressed in the cider press. Uh, the juice is fermented into apple wine and then we pump the apple wine into the all, still here. All right, so this is the still. This, this is, is a magnificent piece of equipment. Uh, tell us what it does. Well, as we heat the wine up, alcohol has a lower boiling point than water, so we can boil off the alcohol. As the vapors rise up the column, water comes in to condense the vapors back into liquid form, which will then come out of the condenser here and out into this tank. At that point, it's clear apple brandy that's about 160 proof. And that's too high of proof to drink, right? Yes, yeah. well, I, I mean, comfortably. <laughs> uh, we will dilute that going into the barrel to about 115 to 120 proof. And then it will age for about five to seven years before wow. we will be ready to bottle it. So what's going on in here is going to take some time before we, we get yes. to sample it. <laughs> and earlier you mentioned that what's in here is wine. So are you saying that it actually starts out as apple wine? Yes. Any distillation, what creates the alcohol is fermentation. So you have to add yeast or allow the juice to ferment into wine. And then all the distillation is is removing the alcohol from the fermented wine. Okay, that's something I didn't know about brandy. <laughs> and here we have brandy coming out right now. All right, look at that. Here is some diluted apple brandy that we distilled earlier and you notice it's still clear. Yes, okay, but this is lower proof. Lower proof, okay. it's about 85 proof. I diluted it down. Uh, is there any, any, any tasting notes I should be looking for well, here? You should uh, get a little fresh apple. Mm -hmm, uh, I do. You'll obviously get uh, the flavor of the apple and uh, it may be a little bit young and harsh at this point, but... Uh, no, but you can still, this is not water. Yeah, <laughs> not, not water. <laughs> but it's great, you can. It's not overly apple-y. It's not like drinking apple cider or right. apple wine, but you do get a hint of sort of that crisp apple flavor. It's yes. really nice. And I'll get you a sample of something that's uh, a little bit older. All right. Right out of the barrel, look at this. How long has this been aging? Uh, this is three years old. And you said normally four to seven, so almost there. Almost there, a couple more years All at right. least. And so you then, can really uh, see the difference in color. And again, the color in this one is coming from the char inside the barrel. From the barrel, yeah. Okay. This is a heavy toast barrel. So, All right, uh, and anything I should be uh, looking for in this You'll notice uh, a lot more uh, wood notes yes. and uh, a caramelization of the of the sugars in the uh, wood gives the color and some flavor and aroma as wow. well. It's already really smooth, even though it has some time to go. And that's still about 115 proof. Okay, so we can't have too much of this. Right, right. <laughs> well, Jason, thank you so much for showing us how those beautiful apples from the orchard become apple brandy. I found it really fascinating, and I'm going to head up to the tasting room now to sample an apple brandy that's fully aged. Well, we've had a great time here at Huber's, and who knew that you could take these beautiful apples from the orchard and turn it into something delicious to drink like apple brandy.